In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can port sales receipts into QuickBooks Online using Z-Axis. So the first step in the process is to connect Z-Axis to your QuickBooks Online file. So you'll be prompted to log in and select the company file that you wish to import to. The next step in the process click the import tab and browse to the file that contains the sales receipts that you wish to import into QuickBooks Online. So this is a text file and contains sales receipt data that we're going to import in. Next, add a new mapping. So we'll select the import type of sales receipt and we go through the process of mapping the columns in your import file to the corresponding fields in QuickBooks Online. So the document number is going to go against the reference number, the transaction date against date, and so on. So the fields marked in yellow are the mandatory fields and the minimum fields you need to map in order to create a sales receipt in QuickBooks Online. So once we've finished, we'll save the map so that we can use it on subsequent imports into QuickBooks. So the next step in the process is to click Import and the transactions will be added directly into your QuickBooks Online file. The first step in the process of access will validate the data and then we'll go ahead and check to make sure customers and items are there and then we'll import the sales receipts directly into QuickBooks Online. So the import has been completed and three sales receipts have been added to QuickBooks Online. So we can now go up there and, and check to make sure they're there. So in order to get to those transactions quickly, we can just click on this view link and Access will open and Access will open the sales receipt directly in QuickBooks for you. So there we have it, the sales receipt that we've just imported using Z Access.